Increasing Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to Manjaro 5 milligrams. Seven tips you must know before you do that. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Shopping. I have been on Manjaro for, God, and Zepbound now, for over, gosh, um, 15 months now, and I have lost a whopping 84 pounds, which is crazy. And so today I've got my experience, strength, and hope to help you uh, make this decision with your healthcare provider. And let's dive into our tips. That's tip number one is, you should be talking with a healthcare provider and having a conversation before you want to titrate up to make sure that's the best thing for you, right? Like I'm not a healthcare provider. I don't pretend to play one on the internet. So in tip number one is talk to your healthcare provider. Why? They know your medical conditions. It's not just straightforward. It may be they know your blood panels, your blood work, which you should be getting with a reputable um, healthcare, or healthcare provider company um, or telehealth company. And so tip number one, talk to your healthcare provider because they're going to have the full scope. Um, you may only have a couple, you may have pixels of that, but they also have the full scope with that. And you should be in that conversation with them, conjunction, together. <laughs> together making that decision, not just one or the other. It should be a together decision. If you don't feel comfortable talking with your healthcare provider, I encourage you to get a new healthcare provider. Um, I work with Join Fridays. I'm obsessed with them. I'll link down below the discount code to work with them as queen. And they're really, really amazing of having that conversation to figure out, should you titrate up from Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to five milligrams? I knew I needed to start titrating up for me because my appetite suppression basically went away and the food chatter basically came back of where I was having consumed thoughts of food again. And this amazing pink cloud that I had been on was evaporating. And I could tell in my body it was going back and I, I needed to titrate up to the next dose, which is why talking with your healthcare provider is so beneficial. Tip number two, once I decided to make that move of, with my healthcare provider of going from Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to Manjaro 5 milligrams, then it became a matter of Majoro side effects and Zepbound side effects. And I like to say um, less than 1%, not I like to say, it's it's factually accurate. My source is when I was on the Oprah show, uh, the doctors there, Dr. Velasquez was talking, there's me on the Oprah show, and then there's me also talking to Oprah when I was there. The doctors on that episode talked about less than 1% of people taking GLP-1 medications um, have severe side effects like appendicitis, uh, appendicitis, um, the thyroid cancer, pancreatitis. Those are really severe Manjaro side effects. You should be aware of them, of course. Um, but there's the most common side effects are like gastrointestinal, diarrhea, um, vomiting, but even not really, I've never vomited. I've had diarrhea, I've had nausea, and I've had constipation. Those are very common. If you have those, girlfriend or girlfriend, you are right in mixed company. <laughs> those are the most common ones. Um, fatigue, or the inverse is insomnia or muscle cramps. I mean, there's a bunch of common ones that are totally normal if you have those. Those are considered common side effects and totally normal with Manjaro and with Zepbound. And so walking in, for me, knowing I was going from Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to Manjaro 5 milligrams, that that was doubling the dose, basically. I was probably gonna experience those more, and I was right, I did. When I was at Disney with my family, we were in the Star Wars exhibit or Star Wars area of Disney. And I literally had to sit on the side. I got to see all like the Chewbacca's go by and like people with lightsabers and stuff, but I was sick as a doll. I was tired. I did not feel well. I actually ended up leaving Disney early because of my Manjaro side effects, but that was okay. Literally taking a GLP-1 medication. I mean, it has changed my life to go from this woman over here, uh, to who I am now, like to be able to run around and play and I will happily take that. But knowing that those side effects exist is one of the reasons why I am obsessed with Element Electrolytes. I absolutely love Element Electrolytes. They have helped so much with my Manjaro side effects um, because they have in there, there are sticks that you put into your drink, you put into water. I put mine typically in a 40 ounce tumbler and it has in there magnesium, potassium, sodium, and you just put it in and you shake it together like the hokey pokey. Sometimes I'll do the whole stick, sometimes I'll do half of the stick. And that's the cool part about this is you can flavor it how you would wish. You can customize it for your own personal preferences. The Duke, my eight-year-old son, is really active in soccer and he gets muscle cramps. Guess what we use? Element. His favorite flavor is watermelon. My favorite flavor is the raspberry salt. 
that was a really bad Prince impersonation. <laughs> I'm supposed to be like raspberry beret. Um, but I love these also because they have in there that magnesium, potassium, and sodium. On shot day, the day before shot day, the day of shot day, and the day after, I am diligent and I have for the last 15 months, um, when I first bought my first Element Electrolytes back 15 months ago, um, on, I take those always on day zero, day one, day two. And then usually I have one stick most days. Some days I'll have two, like if I'm working out hardcore um, or really sweaty Betty. Like when we went to the beach, I had two a day because um, I was sweating profusely, but typically one. But on shot day, it has made such a big difference for me um, having, having those... Um, having those side effects with it. So it's been really, really helpful. And so go to drinkelement.com, D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T.com forward slash Q-U-E-E-N. They've been very generous to give us eight free sticks. I know, eight free sticks of Element Electrolytes with any purchase. And their customer service is fire, friends. I mean, you guys have talked... Um, <laughs> You guys know how much I love them. Like I, I bought them 15 months ago and I've used it continuously over 15 months because it's so helpful. It's so helpful. Diarrhea. This is really helpful to have the magnesium, potassium, and sodium because I'm expelling things, right? And so I need to replenish those important vital nutrients. And constipation because it has magnesium. Like it, it, there's, it, it has been so helpful. Fatigue. I mean, it's been so helpful with every single one. Muscle cramps. It, for me, game changer. So um, that's number two, being aware of those side effects. Increasing Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to five milligrams. Or by the way, you can also use the link down in the description. I've got all the links for all these things down in the description. So tip number three is the shortage. Having that conversation with your healthcare provider. Once you make that decision though, right now we're in the midst of a Manjaro shortage. Eli Lilly tells us by August 31st that shortage will be absolved because the new North Carolina factory will be up and running, um, but still something to be mindful of. We're in a shortage and that may delay or change when you are titrating up from that Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to Manjaro 5 milligrams. Maybe you hold steady at that 2.5 milligrams because you can have easier access. I would call your pharmacy and ask them, what are you seeing right now? Do you even have Manjaro 5 milligrams in stock, right? That may be an option um, to check that, that the shortage has definitely changed the way I've had to titrate across going from Manjaro 2.5 milligrams and now I'm on Manjaro 15 milligrams. Um, it's the highest dose. I had to switch from Manjaro 15 milligrams to Zepbound 15 milligrams, um, which is an insurance issue, <laughs> by the way, uh, making that switch because of the shortage. So I'm telling you all this information of the shortage may affect you. Now, the good news is, is as of filming date today, uh, we don't have that many more months until August 31st. So that should take some of the pressure off of the shortage once that North Carolina facility is up and running because they can produce more Manjaro. It's the pens, by the way, that's causing the shortage. It's not the actual terazepatide, it's the pens. The, these pens are fancy pants. <laughs> They're fancy pants pens. Um, number four of making that move over is protein focus. For me, I didn't know what I didn't know. I learned this later. And so I'm, I'm telling you now, take, take the lesson and not my scars, as, as uh, Alex Hermosi says. Um, my scar was I didn't do protein early on, and I wish I had. I probably wouldn't have titrated it up as quickly because protein helps with appetite suppression <laughs> and it helps with muscle loss. And if you're not using my smart measuring tape, I've talked about that in a ton of videos. It's linked down below. I would encourage you to use that with the matching and corresponding scale. There's a scale that all syncs together into your phone. It's very inexpensive for the technology they give. And um, that's linked down below. Uh, but having that protein focus helps with that muscle loss and you can track it on that scale and with that smart tape. But protein focus, it probably would have prevented, I would have stayed on Manjaro 5 milligrams way longer as opposed to going to Manjaro 7.5 milligrams had I had that protein focus. If you're like, I don't know what protein focus to get, I have interviewed a GLP-1 dietitian. She said 100 to 120 grams of protein per day. I don't do that on day one and day two. That's just me. I do have, if it's not been announced, it will be announced. It's in the sequence in the Canvas of Shopping videos here. I've got a free meal plan, <laughs> a Manjaro weekly meal plan. It's protein focused. It's got a shopping list, recipes, a ton of different recipes and printables. It's a PDF or you can get it digital on countessofshopping.com. I'll link that down below. Once it's released, it may not be, it may still be a secret right now. So if I, if I just spoil the secret, oops, oops, oops. But having that protein focus for my, for sure on day 
three, four, five, six, seven, really more so five, six, seven. Because day one, day two, I'm full. For me, I'm like one meal a day, Omad, one meal a day, and I'm good. So I, I am of the mindset, I don't want to force feed myself. So I go with, I ride that wave of appetite suppression because I know it's going to come back for me. It always does. But in that interim, it's helping me lose weight. It's, it's helping me do a lot of things. And so I ride that wave. You do you of what feels best for your body. But for me, that protein focus, tip number four is really important. Tip number five that I really had to look at, and I can go back with my uh, rose color, or what is that, 2020 history, and see at the beginning, I know right here the gal in the, the before and the pink sweater versus the gal in the black sweater now, in the pink sweater was eating garbage. Clearly, I mean, to be 100 pounds overweight, there's clearly an unhealthy relationship with food. And I'm honest with myself enough to know that I had a very unhealthy relationship with food and have really worked hard to heal that relationship. I've still got a ways to go, but definitely have massively healed it a lot, a lot. It's so, oh, my relationship with food is completely different. But with that relationship with food, I can be honest and take an honest inventory. I was eating garbage. And still at times I can still eat garbage, but significantly less. And there's intentionality behind that of like a celebration for birthdays or um, like for Easter. We just had Easter dinner. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> and it wasn't garbage food. It was just food that I don't eat normally on my meal plan now. And so that's my question for you. If you're choosing to increase with your healthcare provider from Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to Manjaro 5 milligrams or Zepbound 2.5 milligrams to Zepbound 5 milligrams, are you eating garbage? <laughs> <laughs> or are you eating nutrient-dense foods? And when I'm honest with myself, I realized I had a lot to learn about fruits and vegetables and finding fruits and vegetables and nutrient-dense foods and proteins that I love. Because I gotta love it to make it sustainable. I gotta love it and I gotta really enjoy it to make this a lifelong change. Um, and so my question to you is, are you still eating garbage? Because you can. I mean, technically you could. I mean, for me on Majaro. 2.5 milligrams and five milligrams, going from the appetite of like this to this, within this smaller appetite, I could still eat garbage and still lose weight. It's not healthy at all, um, and, but it's the truth. There was pockets of where I did that, not all the time, but there were still pockets. Because like I said, I was still, this is 15 months of really working hard on this and I can look back and say, uh, I did eat garbage at some points. And so that's my question for you is, are you still eating garbage? And for me, I allow myself to have treats. I've talked in other videos, I still eat sweets at times, not all the time, but at times. And I allow myself fun with food, but there is a, there's bookends, healthy bookends with that. And so that's my encouragement to you is, are you still eating a ton of garbage? And if not, maybe perhaps looking to change that. Tip number six, body movement. From moving from Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to Manjaro 5 milligrams. Are you moving your body? I've had to find, going back to things, falling in love with this process and finding things that I love, that I really enjoy. I really enjoy walking my dog two to three miles per day. It makes him happy. It makes me happy. I had a gym membership. It was a bougie gym. They have a pool. I love swimming. That makes me really happy, actually, is swimming. But driving there 30 minutes plus like getting in and out of the car and getting in and out of the lobby was really 45 minutes. 45 minutes home, that's an hour and a half just in the driving component per day. I don't have that. If I went five days a week, which I didn't, but if I did, that's really, what is that, seven, eight hours just on driving? I don't have that time to spend doing that with my lifestyle right now. I'm an active mom and a wife and an entrepreneur and you may be in the same boat as me. So we have a gym in our home and I walk. I just go outside and walk. When it's raining, which has been raining today, I'm going to walk in the pockets of when it's not raining. <laughs> like walking is to me like getting that body movement. So my question to you, tip number six is finding body movement you love because Eli Lilly tells us tells us we need to make sustainable lifelong changes with food and with physical activity. So what's your physical activity going to be? Tell me in the comments below. That's my question of the day for you of what are you doing today to move your body for that permanent lifestyle change that you enjoy? And if you say, Countess, I don't know if I enjoy it, then start trying things. Start tasting, excuse my metaphor, but start tasting things that you may like. Maybe it's riding your bike. Maybe it's walking the stairs. Maybe it's a workout video. I don't know. Maybe it's hanging out with your honey bunny. <laughs> that could be exercise. 
<laughs> um, doing some sort of body movement. And for me, it's walk on the dog. I really, truly love that. That's been quite fun and I look forward to it and I enjoy it. And so that's what I want to encourage you. Find things you enjoy. Number seven, family and friends. When I moved from Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to Manjaro 5 milligrams, at that point I had lost, I think around 20 pounds, I'm trying to remember, 20, 25 pounds somewhere in that ballpark, at least 20 pounds. But the, I had been on Manjaro 5 milligrams for some time, at least 20 pounds. People started to notice, friends and family. Mm. And I got a lot of really nice comments and I got some mean comments. And that's my journey and my experience. And I certainly take my experience, strength and hope and do whatever you wish with that. But it was interesting to, to see the shift starting to happen. And that has still happened and will continue to happen of people treating me differently and me treating myself differently, to be fair. The flip point of that is I do treat myself a lot differently because um, my values are different as a result of this, of caring for my health and taking the time for myself to care for my health and picking meals and and, 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 and doing things that are serve, serve my health. Is it serving my health or is it serving me getting sicker and unhealthy? Um, so family and friends with that, that's tip number seven is for me, I saw a shift in that. There was definitely a shift and I can look back and be like, yeah, there's definitely a shift. Um, and maybe that's not going to be your story, but for me it is. It's been awesome to see who's shown up for me to help encourage me because this is, well, it is easier. It is still hard. I still have had to put in the work to do this. I still, for that 84 pounds down, I still have had to put in the work. And so some people get that and some people don't. And so for you, just putting that out there, take what you want and leave the rest. It's a weird topic to talk about because some people have it, some people don't. Some people don't have changes, some people do. Some have more dramatic changes than others. For me, there was a subtle noticing difference with it. I left uh, a client that I had had who had been a really good client and who treated me really well until they didn't. And that client, um, I don't work with them anymore. And that was an intentional choice on my part to step away and retire from that particular segment of my business. And so I know that was a result of taking Manjaro. I know for a fact, because it wasn't healthy, it was toxic. And I can look back on that now. And now, now subsequently, that client and I, we work together, but in a completely different division with different people, different things. And I love it. I love it so much. Like I was just working on a project for them earlier today. Like I love it. I love it. But so it was interesting to see that one department within the company culture was so toxic. And I was like, get me out of here once I started to lose the weight. That was around the Manjaro 5 milligrams because I had had now at that point, I switched over the first four weeks from Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to Manjaro 5 milligrams. It took, I did the four weeks and then moved up. And then it was on Manjaro 5 milligrams for a bit. And there was a change and shifting in there. At that point, it had been a couple of months. And I was like, oh my, okay. I could start, the fog started to come off and I started to focus more in on my health. So I don't know if you'll have that experience. That was simply mine. Um, tip number eight is a bonus one is vacations are so different for me now. We're talking about going on roller coasters. I couldn't fit on roller coasters last summer and this summer I can. And for most summers now of my, like for decades, I couldn't fit on roller coasters. Or if I did, I had to like squeeze in and it was really embarrassing. So I didn't ride roller coasters. So this summer I'm going to go on roller coasters. I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to get back into horseback riding, which I'm really excited about. Like so excited about. I can't wait. I used to love to ride horses. And so that's my next goal is to be able to get on a horse this summer. We are planning a trip to go horseback riding and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So vacations for me are different focus than what they were. And so when you titrate up, I didn't know that. Like I just went and be like, okay, how am I going to get my medication? What do I need to eat? How do I talk to my dog? Like, like the preliminaries of it, but then this whole larger scope started to happen. So I want to kind of paint the picture for you of this really cool larger scope. Um, Going back over to the side effects, I do want to make sure that you guys go ahead and check out down below. Element Electrolytes has been so helpful for me with my side effects. It's a really, really easy way to have a great drink. It's water mixed with their packets of electrolytes. No dyes, no junk, you know, no sugar added. It's great for my blood panels are amazing as a result. Um, you can go to drinkelement.com forward slash queen and get any uh, free sample packet with any purchase. I do not personally buy supplements on Amazon at all anymore. I only buy them directly from vendors. And so Element, I go directly to their website. I do not buy that on Amazon. So, um, and I'll also link that down in the description link below for you too. So my sweet friends, uh, we do a couple things here at Countess of Shopping. Um, one of which is leaving emojis to me. And today's emoji is going to be a pot 
or like a pan. <laughs> and that will tell me twofold. One, it will help me to get to know your name better. That repetition of seeing your name pop up in the comments will help me to get to know you. And then two, I will pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, I will uplift you in positive thought. Um, it's my signal. It's like the bat signal. And today's emoji will be a pot or a pan uh, because we're focusing in on changing habits today too, which is really, really helpful. Number two, we always talk about action steps. We do talk a lot here, but we are action focused. What are you doing today? Tell me in the comments below to move you closer to your goal. I want to know and I want to help hold you accountable. It's one thing to talk about it, but it's another to do it. So what are you doing today to help hold you accountable? Uh, to me, my, today, mine is hitting protein goals. I'm at the day in my... Um, Meal plan of where I need to hit protein today, and that's my focus. So, and I know I will. I know I will. I'm actually going to go place an order myself. We ran out, or almost out of element. I gave two boxes to a friend who was going to Florida for a soccer tournament, and um, she took all my boxes. So I need to go order some more of my raspberry salt. So I'm going to go do that right now myself. Okay, sweet friends. I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button. Join my free Manjaro weight loss encouragement group. It's linked down in the description link below. And my free Manjaro weight loss success checklist is also in the description link below. I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Have a great day. Bye, guys.